Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be doing sort of a walkthrough of different settings and preferences available within the Preferences menu of Atom. Let's get started on that right now. Got Atom installed. And we've opened it up and we've seen some of the intro screens and some of the nice things it has to offer here. So let's check out some of the preferences and options that you have available in Atom. Now what I really like about Atom is if we head to preferences, you have a nice visual preferences screen. Now that's always been a pet peeve of mine in something like Sublime Text where you're simply just editing a JSON object, which is great, but it really doesn't beat a nice laid out interface or anything like this where it's all organized and you have all the options available here. You don't have to go copying and pasting settings from JSON files. So that's definitely a plus for Atom. And you can see we have some core settings. You can trigger the system audio beep. You can remove that. Destroy empty panes so that when a pane is removed, the pane is removed as well. We'll get into that more with views. And you can see some default encoding stuff. A lot of the stuff you're not going to want to change. You can have ignore names. By default, it's going to ignore .git, uh, .svn, .dsstore, .underscore, and then anything else, thumbs.db, because these are files that you're pretty much never, ever, ever going to want to touch when you're editing a project. So why have them show up in your sidebar? And that's a setting I like to have on Sublime Text as well. So having these in here by default is a great thing that we don't have to do ourselves manually. And we have Project Home. This is going to be where projects are assumed to be located. Now, of course, you want to change that based on where you're actually storing your projects. For instance, mine is in slash users slash Scott Talinsky slash sites slash and that's where I keep my sites in particular okay so now we also have editor settings like auto indent auto indent on paste which we'll want here uh, I really like auto indenting on pasting so then we also have backup before saving which is unchecked we have confirm checkout head revisions. This allows you to change the font family that you're using for your editor. That way, if you want to have a new font for the editor, you can change it in here. And like I said, we'll get into some of this when we get into actually customizing. Now, here's a feature I like, scroll past end. This is a feature I use on all my text editors. It allows you to scroll past the end of a file. It allows you to scroll past the end of a file. We also have things like software wrapping. There's a lot of stuff in here, and we're going to go over it a little bit more once we start customizing some of this. Now, it's nice here we have all of our key bindings here, so if you don't like any of your shortcuts, you can quickly and easily find them. Now, it's nice that they have this whole searching interface. I know I've been in some applications where the amount of key bindings is absolutely massive and just totally, un it's just really hard to find what you're looking to modify here. So for some reason, if we wanted to change paste, we could just simply look at paste. And you can see that paste is, of course, Command V. Okay, in addition, we have packages, which is another thing that's great that some sort of package manager is built into Atom by default. So no longer do we have to download a third party package manager. And the interface is quite a bit nicer because it gives you access to seeing how popular packages, uh, you can quickly enable disable packages, you can see community packages, you can filter your own packages, stuff like that here. And so these installed packages are all of the ones that we have installed right now out of the box. And we can add more with this install plus down here. Likewise with themes, these are the themes that we're using. One dark light. We can see installed themes to see which ones are actually here. And you can look at some core themes. In addition, we can install some new ones with this install. Updates, checks for updates, just like you'd expect. And install allows you to search for new things. For instance, if we wanted to find some material design stuff, we could type in material and let's check this themes. And it's going to look for some things like a syntax theme based off of material design. We also have Atom Material UI. We have a, a bunch of these. But what's great about this is you can quickly see just how popular these packages are. So the fact that this Atom Material UI has uh, 200,000 downloads will show you that this one in particular is quite a bit more popular than some others. However, if you'd like to learn more about any of these, you can just click on the name and it's going to take you to essentially what is a repository page 
on Adam's own website. You can see a preview of it. You can have access to the GitHub page, bugs, version numbers, stuff like that. So one of the best part about Atom is just how painfully easy it is to use. You can install all of your packages and themes through its own interface. You can modify just about anything through some sort of visual interface. And you have the settings and everything you need at your fingertips to turn Atom into the perfect text editor for you. So the out-of-box experience with Atom is certainly something that all text editors should strive for, and it's just a really great project. So these are the preferences in Atom. Feel free to modify these settings and preferences as you like with things like soft wrap and tab length. For instance, I like tab length of four spaces. And auto is soft tabs or hard tabs. I like soft tabs, which is using spaces. So like I said, these are just nice little things that you can tweak in a visual interface. Come in here and make this editor just how you want it. So these are settings in Atom.io. So these are settings and preferences in Atom. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Now, if you want to download the entire Atom tutorial series right now, including the videos that haven't yet been published to YouTube, you can head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and get the entire package. So head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and then select tutorials and you will find the Atom tutorials there. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.